Efficient engineering. When you look at ePlan, of course, we often think about creation and how quickly we can uh, create our schematics. We often forget about this other guy that is out here, right? So we have a lot of tools that can help us. The ePlan Cogineer, uh, we have here under solutions, solutions for all kinds of different industries. Uh, electrical, uh, controls, uh, instrumentation, etc. But we often forget this guy, the guy that basically comes and builds the panel. Just in this area here, we can help him. We can help him why? Because he's going through an endless loop that constantly starts with some picking, kitting, picking the parts. Uh, mechanical installation, enclosure modification, terminal strip assembly, installing the devices, labeling, wire fabrication, wiring, testing, and logistics. And he starts over again, every single panel. So let's take a look at the kitting part. On the e-plan side, of course, create a project is fairly easy. You just go using the cogineer, you select which type of uh, enclosure you have, assuming that somebody actually created the macros before and you have the cogineer. You can just hit the generate button here and it generates from a starting project that contains no pages. I'll just eliminate here the macros, no pages. It generates here a group of pages automatically generated, starting of course with some uh, first pages here, some uh, distribution pages that got generated and some controls for the PLCs. You can see multiple different pages all generated automatically. One thing they have in common though, uh, because we have made a smart use out of our structure, is that in ePlan now, every single component has a functional aspect, higher level function, and a mounting location associated to it. What is this? This is basically a smart trick to uh, divide devices and to understand what these devices are for and what they are doing. So if I look at the mounting locations, I have multiple different mounting locations here. The enclosure that I have assigned, the uh, station feed, we can most likely, if we look at this here and we look at the um, standard project as it is, you can see here, this is a little bit the project that I did. So I have a mounting location A1, enclosure uh, A2, and I have a few different subsystems out in the field, B1, B2, B3, and another panel for C3. For each of these uh, enclosures, we actually now know what is the power supply. We can go down here within a power supply. We have, of course, uh, Phoenix contact part, and it was drawn as you typically do your schematics. Nothing in particular in on this side. So the schematics are done as usual through the e Cogineer. And now when I'm generating the reports, of course, we all know that in ePlan, we can generate a BOM. So to build material, you have it here. But now within that BOM, which components are on enclosure number one, enclosure number two? There's a simple trick here in ePlan. You can create something similar, and I'll call it here basically the EE, the efficient engineering 01 kitting part. I will actually activate here the page sorting to sort just by structure identifier here, mounting location, and this will immediately create a double set of build materials, one for the enclosure number one, one for the enclosure number two. So I go on the first one and now I have it perfectly split in and organized the way I want. If I actually would have some details about where these components could be found in the stock room because that data is part of my uh, parts data, I could actually display it here. Here I actually show you the device tag and I show you the part that is there, and this is all for enclosure number one, so I can fill my bin, and I can start uh, putting together the different parts for my first and for my second panel. So I believe that this will indeed help me be more efficient right now on this particular topic here, the kitting part.